And then I'm gonna highlight. Last to stand. Yeah. All right, there you go, Jeff. Go right ahead, take it away. Okay, let me just bring my uh, my cheat sheet up here. No problem. Uh, so good morning, uh, happy, sorry. <laughs> let me get my head into this room. Here we go. Good morning, the Shana Tova Tikatenu. Shana Toiva, your, <laughs> choose your version. Uh, we're glad everybody could come here on this bright sunny day, except for the places where it's storming. Uh, thank you all for joining us. As Hillary has pointed out, everybody is going to be muted. But if you are speaking, please try to remember to unmute yourself uh, just in time to speak and then mute yourself back up uh, when you're done because uh, we can't remotely unmute you the way Zoom was designed. Uh, as Hillary mentioned, she's our director of Sholem Aleichem Institute, Hillary Duberstein. She'll be running the actual service uh, assembly event, um, and she'll also be reading. Uh, Surely. Let me also mention, just uh, as a pleasant coincidence, Today happens to be Shirley Benyus's birthday, so we should all wish her a merry, happy birthday. One other minor detail, uh, there are places where the Machser says you should stand. We leave that entirely up to you, since most of you would be in little small boxes on the corner of our screens. Nobody will care whether you do or not. Um, same thing with singing. Please sing along. Since you're muted, we won't know, but you will. Uh, also note that Zoom will know that you're singing and will say, do you really want me to unmute you? And you can just ignore the request to be unmuted because when multiple people sing for multiple Zoom meetings, it makes a mess. Um, so with all that, I will now turn it over to uh, Hillary to, excuse me, take it away. Thank you so much, Jeff. I appreciate it tremendously, all of the support that the entire board has given me throughout. This is my second High Holy Days with Shalom Aleichem, and I'm, I'm really thrilled to be here. So as um, Jeff mentioned, we are gonna have a virtual Moxor. We will be having a PowerPoint in front of you. So don't worry if you don't have your Moxor in front of you, which most of you I'm sure do not, you will be able to read everything on the screen um, and it should flow very, very nicely. So without further ado, I'm going to pull up our Moxor, and I am going to have Davis Gloff go ahead and queue up, and he is going to lead us in a Ma Tovu. But hold on one second, because I see that it has not pulled up the right PowerPoint. So give me one second while I get the right one pulled up. We don't want to have the wrong one. There we are. All right, now we can do it. All right. Shirley, I'm going to have you unmute, my dear. I think when everyone muted, yours didn't get unmuted. There we go. There we go. You're good right. now. 
Today, under the inspiration of our tradition, we examine our innermost selves for these deeper thoughts and feelings, which only too often we shut from our hearts and our minds in our daily preoccupations with worldly pursuits and pleasures. The solemn advent of the new year brings us together to fulfill in fellowship with our brethren throughout the world, the biblical instruction as it is written. And in the seventh month, in the first day of the month, you shall hold a solemn gathering. You shall do no manner of servile work. It shall be the day of the sounding of the shofar. Sound the shofar on the new moon in the time appointed for our festival day. It is a statute for Israel, an ordinance of the God of Jacob. Kol melechet avoda lo ta'asu, yom teruwa yihiye lachem. Tik'u b'chodesh shofar b'chesel yom chagenu, ki chok l'Yisrael hu, mishpat l'elohe Yaakov, edut b'yose shamo b'tzeto al Eretz Mitzrayim. Unmute, Alan. Oh. There we go, Alan. You're good now. Okay. Before the old year ends, let us draw lessons from the past. But let us also look forward to the blessings of the new year. May we be inscribed in the book of life. May we learn to understand the deeper meaning of life. Life is to be measured in terms of character and usefulness, in terms of sacrifice and dignity. May we be instructed in the knowledge that more important than the mere passage of time is the breadth of our sympathies, the loftiness of our ideals, and the greatness of our service. May we be stirred by serious responsiveness of spirit. May be, we consecrate our present mood by sentiments and attitudes worthy of our Jewish tradition. Thank you, Alan. We now join Davis again for Lashana Tova. <laughs> March Percy is a poet, novelist, and beautiful writer. This is her coming up on September. White butterflies with single black finger paint eyes on their wings dart and settle, eddy and mate over the green tangle of vines in Labor Day morning steam. The year grinds into ripeness and rot, grapes darkening, pears yellowing, the first Virginia creeper twining crimson, the grasses dry straw to burn. The new year rises, beckoning across the umbrellas on the sand. I begin to reconsider my life. What is the yield of my impatience? What is the fruit of my resolve? I turn from my frantic white dark over, dance over the jungle of productivity, and slowly a niggin slides, cold water down my throat. I rest on a leaf spotted red. Now is the time to let the mind search backward like the raven loose to see what can feed us. Now the time to cast the mind forward, to chart an aerial map of the months. The new year is a great door that stands across the evening, and Yom Kippur is the second door. Between them are song and silence, stone and clay pot to be filled from within myself. I will find there both ripeness and rot, what I have done and undone, what I must let go in the waning days, and what I must take in. 
With the last tomatoes, we harvest the fruit of our lives. All right, go ahead. This holiday, which we celebrate today, is known by several names. The most familiar is Rosh Hashanah, meaning New Year, and the other, Yom Hashikaron, meaning Day of Remembrance. In the Bible, the holiday is referred to by the latter name, and in the Talmud, by the former. Our minds and our hearts respond quite differently to these two names, for the two are quite far apart, if not fundamentally distinct in their character. Rosh Hashanah invokes in us the feeling of celebration. It directs our imagination to the future, into a new epoch, and in our hearts is crystallized the hope for the bright, and happy days to come of a world wholly good. Day of Remembrance, on the other hand, brings us down to the solid ground of life's reality. Of a sudden, we are lowered from wondrous sublime heights into the valley of tears, of worries, troubles, and fears, both the big and small of our daily lives. In short, Rosh Hashanah says to us, let the new year begin with its blessings. Yom HaZikaron tells us the year has ended, but the problems of real life will continue. Hayom Harat Olam. Hayom Yamid Bamishpat Yol Kol Yitzore Olamim, Im Chavanim, Im Chavadim, Im Chavanim Rachamim Charachem Av Albanim, Vi Im Chavadim, Enenu Lacha Taliot, Achet Chanenu Vetotzi Chaor Mishpatenu. Today is the birthday of the world. Today all mankind is judged either as children or as servants. If as children, then grant us a father's compassion for his children. If as servants, our eyes beseech you to be gracious to us and pronounce our sentence as clear as light. The following three distinct sections are based on subdivisions in the traditional Moxer. They are known as Malchuyot, Kingdom of the Spirit, Zichronot, Remembrances, and Shofrot, Shofar Blasts. All three sections contain major spiritual and ethical themes. The Mishnah in Tractate Rosh Hashanah, compiled in the second century of the Common Era, already mentions these divisions as part of the ritual of the day. For us too, these sections offer an opportunity to meditate upon both present and timeless values, which are of great concern and are of Jewish and universal nature. Rosh Hashanah is traditionally dedicated to the affirmation of God as the sovereign of the universe and to the devout wish that his sovereignty be made manifest in the life of mankind. The traditional idea of God as sovereign is, on the whole, synonymous with what is often referred to as the kingdom of the spirit. Its moral equivalent is found in the earnest consideration of what men can do individually and collectively to further the kingdom of the spirit. Unlike the three pilgrim festivals, which spring from the career of Israel and address themselves to the national consciousness, Rosh Hashanah takes into preview humanity as a whole and addresses itself to the function of the Jew as a member of the human race. In Sof von die Tag, but stein fest der Barg von Gott's Heus, oben on von die Berg. Find der Heugen über die Hechen, 
und Umstwellen zu ihm strommen. Und viel Völker wollen gehen und wollen sagen, kommt. Und Lomera Rolf gehen zum Bar von Jehova und zum Haus von dem Gott von Jankov. Und er wird uns lernen von seinen Wegen. Und wir wollen gehen in seine Stegen. Warum von Zion wird er Rolf gehen und teurer. Und Gottes Wort von Jerusalem. Und er wird mich bitten zwischen viel Umes und uns schäden über machtige Völker bis in der Wald. Und sie wollen überschmieden sehr werden auf Ackereisens und sehr spießen auf Zweignisses. Erfolg gegen Erfolg wird nicht heben mehr schwer und man wird nicht mehr lernen kommen. Und sie wollen sitzen etlicher unter sein Weinstock und unter sein Feigenbäum und keiner wird jetzt schrecken. Warum das Moral von Gott für zu Wars hat gerettet. Warum alle Völker mögen gehen, jedoch in Namen von seinem Gott. Aber wir wollen gehen in Namen von Jehova, unser Gott, rief ewig und ständig. And they shall hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall lift no sword against nation. And never again will they learn to make war. No, he said, Go, I am, go, I fear it. No, he said, Go, I am, go, I fear it. No, he said, Go, I am, no, is a goyer, me do what me come. is a goyer, go a cherub. No, is me do what me come. is a goyer, go a cherub. No, is me do what me come. Our moral ideals. Judaism seems to me to be concerned almost exclusively with the moral attitude in life and to life. I look upon it as the essence of an attitude to life, which is incarnate in the Jewish people, rather than the essence of the laws laid down in the Torah and interpreted in the Talmud. To me, the Torah and the Talmud are merely the most important evidence of the manner in which the Jewish concept of life held sway in earlier times. The essence of that conception seems to me to lie in an affirmative attitude to the life of all creation. The life of the individual only has meaning insofar as it aids in making the life of every living thing nobler and more beautiful. Life is sacred. That is to say, it is the supreme value to which all other values are subordinate. The hallowing of the super individual life brings in its train a reverence for everything spiritual, a particularly characteristic feature of the Jewish tradition. Judaism is not a creed. The Jewish God is simply a negation of superstition, an imaginary result of its elimination. It is also an attempt to base the moral law on fear, a regrettable and discreditable attempt. Yet it seems to me that the strong moral tradition of the Jewish nation has to a large extent shaken itself free from fear. It is clear also that serving God was equated with serving the living, the best of the Jewish people, especially the prophets, contended tirelessly for this. 
Judaism is thus no transcendental religion. It is concerned with life as we live it and as we can to a certain extent grasp it and nothing else. It seems to me therefore doubtful whether it can be called a religion in the accepted sense of the word, particularly as no faith but the sanctification of life in a suprapersonal sense is demanded of the Jew. But the Jewish tradition all cont also contains something else, something which finds splendid expression in many psalms, namely a sort of intoxicated joy and amazement of the beauty and grandeur of this world of which man can form just a faint notion. For these next two slides, the person who was originally supposed to read it seems to be having some technical difficulties. So I'm going to ask if Shirley Benyus would be so kind as to read the next two slides for us. I think you're muted, my dear. Am I right now? Correct. There you are. Thank you, Shirley. Ich trage Herz voll Liebe. Ich bin mit Liebe reich. Gute Menschen schlechte. Alle sind gleich. Sing mir nicht von Tugend. Red mir nicht von Sind. Jeder Mensch nur spielt sich. Spielt sich wie ein Kind. Guck mit Vater Augen auf dem kurzen Spiel. Tu sich auf der Bese, aber nicht zu viel. Denn die Kinder spielen, bis vergeht die Sohn. Und sie gehen schlafen. Es ist nicht kein Base, der Fuhn. Thank you so much, Shirley. Our concern over a troubled age. What disturbs one? One now is not the fear that the earth might cease to yield, but the unhappy realization of the growing discontent with the manner in which the earth's increase is shared and enjoyed by the human family. Great plenty and abject poverty, limitless power and utter weakness exist side by side. Everywhere earnest minds are seeking to know whether these inequalities are justified or whether a way may not be found that shall lead to more contentment and greater mutual respect and confidence the world over. As Jews, we should hold foremost in our minds the belief of our fathers that human life is of the utmost value and that all duties and responsibilities have for their purpose the safeguarding of the life of man and his well-being. On this day of self-examination, let us search and examine our ways and in genuine integrity of mind and humility of spirit, make acknowledgement that we ourselves have not been sufficiently mindful of the interests and rights of our fellow man. Let women who earnestly and sincerely strive to make a better world and let us on our own part seek to establish this world by our genuine sympathies and sacrifices. Before the old year ends, let us draw lessons from the past, but let us also look forward to the blessings of the new year. Excuse me, Alan, I think you want the other reading, my dear. The Power of Memory. I think that one's your, your last one. 
You want the power of memory? Yeah. yeah there you okay. Go. There you go. Sorry. No problem. All right. On this New Year's Day, man remembers the beginning of the world. But such remembrance is not merely an excursion to, into the past. The central theme of Rosh Hashanah is the power of memory itself. Memory defies oblivion, breaks the coils of the present, establishes the continuity of generations, and rescues human life and effort from futility. It affords the only true resurrection of the dead. The act of remembering is thus in itself redemptive. If on the one hand, it involves a chastening assessment, it involves on the other, a comforting reassurance. Rosh Hashanah is at once a day of judgment and a new beginning. If it looks backward, it does so only on the way forward. And its symbol is the trumpet of eternal reveling. You must understand one thing more, not only an individual, but a people too must possess a memory. A people's memory is called history. What is true of an individual without memory is also true of a people without history. They cannot become wiser or better. Where can a people derive in bad times experience, advice, and self-confidence if each generation with its joys and sorrows, virtues and failings is cut off and cast away? or as the proverb goes, out of sight, out of mind. One generation passes away and another generation comes, but the earth abides forever. If man wants to be of the eternal, he must be of the earth. Out of the dust was he fashioned and unto the dust does he return. If he seeks to go beyond the earth, if he builds a tower to scale the heavens, the languages are confused and the builders scattered over the earth. For my, man must find his fulfillment on earth. He can do so by reproducing himself, by being reborn as children and children's children. This is eternity. An individual is not a free single dot in the universe. He is a ringlet in the net which is spread over a certain spot on the earth. The net is his generation. A human being is also a ringlet in the infinite chain of generations, which reach back to the patriarch Abraham and extends onward to the end of time. Shirley, I think you're muted. I'm sorry, dear. There you go. Me, Mama Kim. Our picture never came up. What means to me, sir, from the Tiffany? What's the ties to Famir from the Tiffany? How was your summer? For was our folks to me from Kindheit on, from Cheder on, from Weiße Gottesnacht on, from der Tiefenisch. Mi Mama Kim. Mi Mama Kim, was für ein Klang bist du? Was trockst du mit sich von der Tiefenisch? Sagst du es einmal, sag es noch einmal, sing es noch einmal und tacke noch einmal. Me, ma, a, ma, kim. Ich ruf zu dir von der Tiefe nicht. Ich bet zu dir. Ich streck bei der Hand zu dir von der Tiefe nicht. Ich will sein der Kind zu dir. Ich will sein non dir. Ich will dich honorieren. Ich will der Gräfen dich. Ich will sich aufheben zu dir von der Tiefe nicht. 
Wer vergeht sich also, wer man es gesagt dass er von der Tiefe nicht so ist es einmal, so ist es noch einmal und tag es noch einmal von der Tiefe nicht. Avino Malkeinu, Avino Malkeinu, Avino Malkeinu, Aneinu, Aneinu, Kien Banu Mashim, Aseimanu, Sedaka Yachesed, Aseimanu, Sedaka Yachesed, Judaism as a culture. If Judaism is to be preserved amidst the new conditions, if it is still to withstand the pressure of the surrounding influences, it must again break the narrow frame of a creed and resume its original function as a culture, as the expression of the Jewish spirit and the whole life of the Jews. It will not confine itself to a few metaphysical doctrines, which affect the head and not the heart, and a few official ceremonies, which affect neither the head nor the heart, but will encircle the whole life of the Jew and give content and color to its highest functions and activities. We alone survived. Of the whole welter of ancient peoples, we alone survived. Dispersed, broken into fragments, multicolored and diversified, black and yellow and white, occidental and oriental, with all one people. We survived, I should like to believe, because we were inveterate optimists. No obstacle stopped us. No crisis dismayed us. No catastrophe crushed us. We swallowed the bitterness of life and pursued the sweet thereof. I, we loved life, this very thing of living. In my Danik. Can't see the whole thing. In my Danik, in the Kammer, wo mir hat vergast mein Stamm, a Tanach an Amsterdamer liegt nicht ungerührt von Sam. Ich, der Sing in dicker Ovel, auf a scheiter dicker Sprach. Zertu, der von euch dem Tovel, von gefundenem Tanach. Blätter, durchgestäubte Gräue, nehmen euch. Euch blieben es aus, was ich vermog. Nehm dem Sefer, trog weiter, bis in Ewigkeit. Der Trog. Am Israel Chai, Ad Billy Dai. The Jewish people lives and will live eternally. I'd like to ask.
ask if Alva Dworkin would like to read this page for me. She was having some technical problems earlier, but I see that she was able to join us. So Alva, would you like to unmute and read this slide for me? Just have to unmute yourself, dear. Almost. Okay. There you go. Um, I was supposed to read Fagebung on page yes. 16. And yes, 16. And, and that has already happened, unfortunately, because I think you were having some technical problems. But if you'd right. like to read what's on the screen, I'd love to have you read that, please. And what page is that? Um, it's going to not be in the mock or Can you just read it from your screen? I think it's big enough for you to see it. It is not. Okay. Well, that's all right. I can read it then. I'm sorry, Alva. We'll get it figured yeah. out next time. No worries. If there are ranks in suffering, Israel takes precedence of all the nations. If the duration of sorrows and the patience with which they are born ennoble. The Jews can challenge the autocracy of every land. If a literature is called rich in the possession of a few classic tragedies, what shall we say to a national tragedy lasting for 1500 years in which the poets and the actors were also heroes? Before the rebirth of the Jewish state in 1948, Jews had been living in Europe for at least 21 centuries. Jewish genius flourished continuously on European soil. If no part of the world did Jews suffer as much as in Europe, Yet their history there is not merely a history of agony and abasement, but of creative achievement. It molded Jewish thought and expression down to our present day. Really, I believe you're muted. There you go. Abi Yar. There are no memorials over Baba Yar, only an abrupt bank like a crude epitaph rears. I stand stricken. Today, I'm as ancient in years as the Jewish people themselves are. It seems to me at this moment I am an Israelite. Now I'm wandering over ancient Egypt in captivity. I'm Dreyfus now inside my mind, my former Informer and judge, the Philistines. I am behind bars. I was trapped in the roundup, persecuted, reviled, hounded. It seems to me I'm a boy in Bialystok. Blood flows over the floor, red running. Outrages are committed by the bullies of vodka shops, stinking of drink and raw onions. I lie helpless. My jackboots kicked about. I plead to the pomegranates in vain. Beat the yids. Save Russia, they shout. My mother, my shopkeeper, is beaten and flayed. Oh, my Russian people, by nature you are international, I know. And I myself am like an endless, soundless cry over these thousands and thousands of buried ones. Each one of these murdered old men am I. Nothing will ever forget this within me. No Jewish blood my veins runs through, but I'm hated with an encrusted passion by all anti-Semites, as if I were a Jew. And because of that, I'm a genuine Russian. Yiska, Yiska doll. Yiskadol ve Yiskadash, Wiffel sein in Schein nit da, soll behelig sein die Schau, mir bewähnen se on rasch, Yiskadol ve Yiskadash. Was verblieben is uns mehr, wie die durchgeglitter Träer, auf die Quarem, auf dem Asch, Yiskadol ve Yiskadash. Yiskadol, Yiskadol ve Yiskadash, how many are no more? Let this hour be hallowed in silence, let us weep. Yiskadol ve Yiskadash, 
Now what remains for us but a scorching, burning tear on the grave and on the ash, Yiskadol the Yiskadash. After the Nazi Holocaust, which exterminated six million of our people, we received from European Jewry a bequest, a song to be chanted by Jews into eternity. Sag nit kein malas du gehst den letzten Weg, Himmeln bleuen auf verstellen bleue Tag, kommen wird noch unser heus gebänkte Schau, Zwert abbeugt von unser Tod mit seinen Do, kommen wird noch unser heus gebänkte Schau, Zwert abbeugt von unser Tod mit seinen Do. Von grünen Palmenland bis weißen Land von Schnee. Wir kommen an mit unserer Pein, mit unserer Weg. Und wo gefallen ist, er spritzt von unser Blut. Spritzt und wird von unser Gewohre, unser Mut. Und wo gefallen ist, er spritzt von unser Blut. Spritzt und wird von unser Gewohre, unser Mut. Sag nicht kein Mal, als du gehst im letzten Weg. Himmeln bleiben auf Verstellen bleiben Tag. Kommen wird noch unser heiß gebänkte Schau. Zweiter Projekt und unser Trott mit seinen Do. Kommen wird noch unser heiß gebänkte Schau. Zweiter Projekt und unser Trott mit seinen Do. The Father of Freedom. Western culture in its Anglo-Saxon form is in itself nothing but an indirect of the original Hebrew tradition. Western democracy is conceived and this world is built upon three concepts, individual morality, social justice, and international peace. But where were those concepts produced? Where were they proclaimed? They were proclaimed by the people of Israel in the land of Israel, through the language of Israel in the previous eras of Israel's independence. You do not therefore do justice to the facts when you describe Israel as a part of the cause of freedom and democracy. Israel is the father of freedom and the ancestor of the elements out of which democracy is born. Coming into being. Singularity. This passage from the Talmud is part of the address by which the base din impressed the witnesses with the seriousness of their testimony. Man was created single to teach you that whosoever wrecks a single soul the Torah considers to have wrecked a complete world, and whosoever sustains a single soul, the Torah considers to have sustained a complete world. That's not complete there. Man was created, no, we did that. Uh, also, he was created single to keep peace among the human creatures that no man might say to his fellow, my father was greater than your father. The, the crown of creation. Man was created on the eve of Sabbath. And for what reason? So that in case his heart grew proud, one might say to him, even the gnat was in creation before you were there, coming and going. When a man comes into the world, his hands are clenched as though to say, all the entire world is mine. Now I shall acquire it. And when he goes out of the world, his hands are wide open, as though to say, I have acquired nothing from this world. Scholars and kings, <clears throat> a sage takes precedence over a king of Israel. If a sage dies, we have none like him. If a king dies, all Israel are eligible for kingdom. 
If you have done your fellow man a little wrong, let it be a great wrong in your eyes and go and rectify it. If you have done much good, let it be little in your eyes. If he has done you a great wrong, let it be little in your eyes. Espeti Welt. Espeti Welt war ihre Kinder, war Mensch, war Bäum, war Schoff und Rinder, war Vögel, Schmetterling und Sang, war Mensch, war Helfand und war Schlang. Espeti Welt war ihre Kinder. Espeti Welt war ihre Kinder. Sie bet auf viele fahren Sinde und war die Fisch in Jam in Teich, war ihr is alt, was lebt er. Leich. Es bet die Welt war ihre Kinder. Es bet die Welt war ihre Kinder. Ihr Treue kennt nur Sinn der Blinde. Ihr Zwilleton hört nur der Täuber und ihr ne Schamme fühlt der Gläuber. Es bet die Welt war ihre Kinder. The Festal Trumpet Call. Happy the people who know the Festal Trumpet Call. The lesson of Rosh Hashanah is imparted in Judaism, not by mere abstract formulation, but by concrete symbolism. The essential feature is the blowing of the shofar. Rabbi Joshua ben Korach said, the shofar was created for the particular good of Israel. By the shofar, the Torah was given Israel as it is said, and when the voice of the horn waxed louder and louder, because of the ram's horn, the wall of Jericho fell, as it is said. And it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the horn, that the people shouted with a great shout and the wall fell down flat. And it is also the shofar, which is destined to blow when the exiles of Israel shall gather in their land. And it is said, and it shall come to pass in that day that a great horn shall be blown and they shall come that were lost in the land of Assyria and they that were dispersed in the land of Egypt. And it is also the shofar that is destined to blow when the Messiah, son of David, a righteous one, will reveal himself. The sounding of the shofar is an illusion as if to say, Awake, O oh you sleepers, awake from your sleep. O oh you slumberers, awake from your slumber. Search your deeds. O oh you who forgot the truth in vanities of time, in follies that neither profit nor save, better your ways and actions. This one is Arashit Svatenu. May the request of our lips. I beg your pardon. You're fine. I think something just bumped in. It's okay. I don't know what it is. Go ahead. These, these things, they go differently at different times. Yeah. Uh, no. I'll go. Yeah. Arashit Svatenu. May the request of our lips win your favor, most high and exalted God, who thus perceive and hear our sounding of the shofar. Accept graciously a recital of shofar. Tekapu shofar, sound the great shofar for our freedom and bring us speedily together from the four corners of the earth to our homeland. For untold generations, our fathers listened as we do at this season for the sound of the shofar. What did they hear in its piercing tones? What solemn truth did they detect in its melodies that they were stirred as though a veil were being lifted from some vast mystery that they were remade by it into fairer humanity? What does it say to us who stand between two years groping for a light to guide us and the faith to stay our hearts. Takiya.
awake, awake the shofar calls. Let not the torpor of habit dull your minds to the heroism of man, his yearnings and aspirations. Shivarim. <laughs> Hear ye now the accents of the Shivarim, the broken refrain, the hesitant melody which echoes the sighing and weeping of an unhappy mankind. How sad is the lament of those who live. Many who might be alive today molder on the battlefields, vain sacrifices forgotten by all except those hearts that will never be gay again for want of them. Many who love sunlight and cleanliness must dwell in the foul darkness of hovels. Many who toil faithfully go hungry for want of bread and naked for lack of raiment. Many who could be strong are frail in the body of hardship, twisted in limb because of the cruelty of their brothers. Many who yearn the illumination of the written word and for the Miss something? Graciousness of art are denied the patrimony of son, the sons of man. <laughs> Have you heard the tragic wail of pain racked bodies and bitter hearts? And are your souls sad? You listen now to the trumpet blast of the Teruah, the call to battle. These evils need not be. Give up your bread to those who hunger and of your strength to those who fail. Give up your energies to justice and truth. Then will the evils that oppress men pass away. I, in your hands, in your hearts and in your minds, behold the means whereby these scourges can be banished from earth forever. Let us give heed to the sound of the shofar and be mindful of its message of hope. It assures us of the eventual triumph of righteousness and the dawn of a better world. It brings hope and comfort to the oppressed and the downtrodden everywhere. It directs us to love freedom and preserve it here and throughout the world so that Israel and all people shall live in dignity and peace. Kia Gadola. Renaissance. Art. Where has Orin, sein lieber Namen war, Blake und Blecher war die Nacht. Es wird ein neuer Tag geboren, in Israel rüttelt sich die goldene Scharpe. Der neue Tag hebt und zu blühen und die Morgensterren singen. Was für ein Strömnis klingen, dem es Finger sie an Iber David Hamelz vergessene Harpe, in der Schäufer. Schon nicht weit von Dan und Weg. Der Rocho ist von Käfer euch gestanden und schreckt mit Dank zum Himmel aus die Hand. Wunder, Wunder, Wunder. Wunder wie Verzeiten. Wunder wie Amal. Wir sehen stehen euch von den Keskels Tal. Und sehr, sehr, sehr. Was er ihn der kennt, Eichlin ihn der kennt, das ist der, was brennt und wird nicht verbrennt. A better world. In this solemn hour of Rosh Hashanah, let us resolve to be helpful to the men and women who earnestly and sincerely strive to make this better world and let us on our part seek to establish this better world by such principles of justice as are stimulated by generous sympathies and by such right conduct as is based upon genuine sacrifice. Mm -hmm. 
sahaki sahaki Lachen von den Träumen, was ich gerade noch als bei mir, als ich lebe noch in den Menschen, als ich lebe noch als in dir, als ich streb noch als noch Freiheit, Kopf auf Gold, sich nicht gefleißt, als ich lebe noch in den Menschen und in Menschen euren Geist, was es reißt er ab die Ketten und erhebt ihm von der Neut, wer es arbeitet, wird nicht schmachten. Nicht noch Freiheit, nicht ja. noch Freiheit. Und eine Form wird eine Summe. Euch, mein Volk, wird der Mord euch. Ich beg your pardon. One second, um, let me just mute someone. One second, sweetie. That's how I am too. Okay, it's all right. <laughs> One second, let me get there. Okay. Go right ahead. Yeah. Surely. Euch, mein Volk, wird dämmelt euch stehen, euch sein Erd in freien Glück. Und dem Joch, euch seine Plätzes, und dem Heuschach, fahren Blick. Oder Dichter wird was singen, was ist schön und stark und ganz. Und mein Käfer wird wir nehmen, war im Blumen, euch verkranz. Uh, since we're acknowledging the power of uh, memory, let me just say that uh, my father, Charles Dreiker, recited this toast at every assembly for decades. And is uh, with the memory of his uh, Gesunde Stimme that I'll try to do it justice today. I remember it well. Thank you, Alba. So Gesund zu leben, zu lange your zu plain and grace von unser door, zu die wo singen durch schwerer wach, bei Shabbos Yontif is bei der dem Tach. Cholam cholam nor frecknik was is vor, calls mein steht auf der Zeit brick. Cholam cholam nor frecknik was is vor, cholam yet steht auf der Zeit brick. Zu gesund zu leben, zu lange your, zu die was kämpfen und boyen nur, zu die was singen in brank und kalt und tramplen mutig durch Adarner Welt. Cholam, cholam nur, fragt es was es war, als mein steht or auf der sein Brick. Cholam, cholam nur, Frecknet was is vor, weil ein Cholam licht, er ganz er glickt. Our hope for the future. Pesefer Chaim, Barachava Shalom, Uparna Satova. May we and all peoples of the world be inscribed in the Book of Life, be blessed with peace and prosperity. This day, this day is dedicated to the ideal of brotherhood. Let us pray that all citizens of the Republic may be fraternally united in common allegiance to the principles on which it was established. The founding fathers were moved to proclaim that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with, a certain, with certain inalienable rights 
that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. On this day, we dedicate ourselves to help preserve and enrich the American heritage of liberty and justice for all. Did you want me to continue that, Hillary? Um, no. Luba's gonna read it. Stalin had to get her unmuted. I think we're good. I think you can read it now, Luba. Go right ahead. All right, we don't see ourselves on there. There's no picture of us. That's okay. Can you see the reading? That's no problem. Go ahead, Lou. A new beginning. This is Rosh Hashanah. We are alive. We are here, and that of itself takes a measure of strength as well as muscle. We are alive. We can love. We can touch. We can learn. We can feel. We can do so much. We need a Rosh Hashanah, a new beginning, simply to appreciate and give thanks for all that is here for us. We were placed into the very heart of all that lives, a capacity to begin again, to grow, to renew. In so many ways, does nature does the very same. Air, water, plants, and rivers all participate in the continuing cycle of new beginnings. As you create the world anew, Every single day, let today be for us a new beginning. Thank you, Luba. Bashana Hababa, Meshevar Hapesa, Venispor, Nesporim, Nodador. Yadadim Mehosha, Yashach Tata Hafese, Ben Habayit Levin, Hasadon, Otire, Otire, Kamet Odihye, Bashana, Bashana, Ava, Otire, Otire, Kamet Odihye, Bashana, Bashana, Ava. Soon the day will arrive when we will be together and no longer will man live in fear. And the children will smile without wondering whether on that day dark clouds will appear. Wait and see, wait and see what a world there will be if we share, if we care, you and me. Wait and see, wait and see what a world there can be if we share, if we care to and be. Thank you, Davis. Now I'm going to stop my sharing of my screen and I'm going to spotlight once again our president, Jeffrey Nathan. I have a few words. This has been a cataclysmic year for all of us. And as folklore holds, disasters come in threes. This year has been politically fraught. COVID has killed millions, among them some of our friends and fellow congregants here. And the climate has hammered our homes and welfare. It's made us realize how much we have temporarily lost. Rabbi Elise Goldstein of the City Shul of Toronto wrote a meditation on what we have missed, and I'll, I'll read a, a shortened and somewhat edited version of it. May we never again take for granted the offered handshake from a stranger new to our congregation, a crowded kol nidre, singing together the taste of fresh challah. May we never again take for granted 
breathing deeply without a mask, making plans for the future, crossing a border, sharing a sandwich, human contact. May we never again take for granted coffee with a friend, physical touch, family, peaceful public discourse, the sacredness of connection, life itself. There's an American folk singer named Cy Khan who's written a number of songs. If you know the folk music tradition, you might know some of them. Um, he wrote this song about the secular New Year, but I think it's equally as, as appropriate, and I'll attempt to sing the last verse. May whatever house you live in have flowers by the door and children in the bed to keep you warm. May the people there accept you for what you really are and help you find some shelter in the storm. And morning rain to ease the pain that comes with being free. May the new year bring you freedom peacefully. Thank you all for coming. Shana Tova, the Shana Tova Tikatevu. Happy New Year. Let's have a good year. Thank you so much, Jeff. We really appreciate it. We are so glad that everyone could be here with us this, this morning. And don't forget to come back next week for our Kol Nidre Yom Kippur observance. We will be at 7 p.m. I will be sending out information. If you haven't already registered, please do so. That's just how we keep track and make sure that we keep our assembly safe. But I want to personally wish you all a Lashana Tova. I hope you have a very blessed 5782 and may it be one of good health and peace and joy for each and every one of us. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you all so much for joining us. And we peace sing. be with all of you. Don't we sing I go to your, I go to your? If you would like to lead it, Alva, you are more than welcome to do so. Go right ahead. I go to your, I go to your, I go to your, I go to your. Vincent, I'll attack this. I go to your, I go to your, I go to your, I go to your. Vincent, near I'll this. I got your, I got your, I got your, I got your vision. Near Alec in there, I got your, I got your, I got your, I got your vision. Near Alec in vision, near the guns bells. We wish a good year to all the fathers, to all the mothers, to all the children, to all the Jews the whole world. Oh, you you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you, Alva. All right, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again for joining us. And we hope to see you next week for Yom Kippur. Bye now. Bye. Bye.